So last week I did a video on is the Canon EOS R still worth it in 2021? And if you haven't seen that yet, the link is right up here, shameless plug. And thank you guys so much for the love on my recent videos. So truly appreciate that and welcome to all the new subscribers. But anyways, in the video I mentioned about a quote unquote crop hack that my genius brand accidentally found. And ironically, this is my day-to-day -day setup that I normally use anyways, that there was no crop in when I would switch to the 4K mode. And someone asked me in the comments, you know, I would like to see that 4K crop hack. And, and you know what? You are in luck because I am dedicating that video because not a lot of people are talking about it. So let's get into it. So I scoured the internet and I was curious to see why this happens, but it was right in front of me all along. And unfortunately, I am not the only one that found this quote unquote crop hack. A fellow YouTuber uh, name of Tom Rich, link is down there below if you'd like to check out the video anyways. He made a version of this video as well, talking about quote unquote 4K beast crop hack for the EOS R. So drum roll please, editor. <laughs> To get this no crop hack, no 1.8 times crop inward for your shot while you're using the Canon EOS R, all you need is the Canon EF to RF lens adapter, which is going for only a hundred bucks. And all you need is the Sigma 18 to 35 EF version of that lens. So this is a beautiful lens. It is technically an APS-C, yes. So it is, APS-C also stands for Advanced Photo System Type C, abbreviated as APS-C. And you might've heard also Super 35 millimeter. So that is another mode that a lot of cinema grade cameras use. And if you haven't worked with Super 35 millimeter yet, Sony also has this on their line. So it is also a popular video codec mode. And Super 35 millimeter has been around for a long, long time, ever since films were made way, way back when. So that was that three by two aspect ratio, but now we are full frame by 16 by nine is what you see on the regular when you're watching movies, television, whatever that may be. That is the full width nowadays. What this camera hack quote unquote is doing is that it is shooting at Super 35. So APS-C, the Canon EOS R is actually fixing that. So when you zoom out, you won't be seeing that vignetting that you normally see with wide angle lenses, especially. And with APS-C specifically, you will see that vignetting apparition and it is technically already cropping in for you. So Canon was actually smart and it recognizes that. So that is a reason why it is not quote unquote cropping in at that 1.8 times for the 4K mode. So this is kind of a big deal because for some reason, I'm, not a lot of people were talking about this. Of course, people were talking about the speed booster, which yes, it does shoot that full frame, but it only fixed the crop by that much. It gives it that 1.0 times, I think three or 1.0 times four. I know a lot of YouTubers have talked about the speed booster hack and using all the EF lenses. This is dedicated at APS-C, so it's super 35. And this is a great focal length too. And you're getting 18 millimeter to 35 mil. I believe if you double that, you will probably get into the, around the 18 to a 36 millimeter and 35 going into like a 60 millimeter. I'm gonna have to show you guys what the 1.8 times crop looks on my 24 to 70, so I'll throw that up right now. It is a significant difference. You can see that there is a crop. And then to throw up the RF 50 millimeter 1.8, you can definitely see that level of detail in my face. It's just, there is no space at all. So I don't wanna see that. That's a little too much intimacy right there. So just to show you guys real quick uh, what this looks like compared from the 1080p version, which you are watching right now, so this is the 1080p uh, on the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter 1.8 lens. And now let's switch to the 4K. And now you can see that we are in 4K. We are shooting directly in 4K, all eye, and there is no crop, same frame. I didn't move the camera, I didn't push it back, I didn't zoom out, zoom in, did nothing. I didn't even touch it. So this is the apparent 4K with the 18 to 35 millimeter Sigma art lens with the quote unquote no crop on the EOS R. So still looks great. You're still getting that 4K image. Unfortunately, there are a couple of drawbacks, but it still looks amazing. I think there's still a level of detail here. The amazing thing is there's no crop. So what more can you ask for? And the reason why this is a little bit better, in my opinion, I believe that this is a little bit better of an option, especially if you're looking to shoot video or just have this amazing lens 
And you can also use this for the Blackmagic Pro, which I could talk about later in later videos. This is a amazing sharp lens and for a zoom lens that can go to 1.8 is phenomenal. So a lot of zoom lenses, if you look around in the market, they go all the way down and they open up to 2.8. Uh, with this lens, you can actually go to 1.8. So thank you for Sigma for coming in clutch for that. Going back to the Metabones, uh, the Metabones adapter goes for $400. You are actually doubling or actually maybe tripling that comparing to this to the dedicated Canon lens adapter from EF to RF. And this Sigma lens is a little bit pricey, but you're still under $1,000, which is amazing. So you you can get this on Amazon right now for $638, $678, I think. Yeah, I'll put it up on the screen for you guys. I know people will be saying, you might be thinking, but there's also the Canon 16 to 35 RF image stabilization. Yes, that is an amazing lens. It is beautiful lens, a beautiful chef's kiss lens, but you are paying a thousand times more. You're paying $2,000 more. I would say go with this setup it is amazing especially if you're doing uh product shots you're doing uh interview shots you know you're doing a wedding even and you just want to shoot at 4k 24 all eye you're still gonna have a lot of range it won't be super zoomed in and it won't be super zoomed out it'll just i think this is just the sweet spot i think this is the sweet spot for this quote unquote 4k crop hack but i think it's also a beast so now there obviously are drawbacks. So the drawbacks to this, I want to be transparent with you guys fully. Fortunately, you cannot shoot 1080 at 60 frames, nor can you do the 720 at 120 frames per second. Unfortunately, I don't know why Canon doesn't allow that. The system just doesn't allow that, unfortunately. Obviously, it'll be grayed out. Uh, you can see in the B-roll that I'm showing right now. It sucks, I know, it, it sucks. And another drawback to this lens as well, especially if you're trying to vlog with this, I know you're thinking about that there is no image stabilization or lens stabilization in this lens unfortunately so there are two major drawbacks that that i want to make sure that is transparent in this video just so you guys know if you were just thinking about jumping the gun and just buying the setup like straight away like this is the new vlogging setup that you know i'm starting my youtube channel and i want to just bring this out into the field it's still a great lens and you're still going to get a lot of great photos out of these. I sh I've shot a lot of photos on this already and it, the image that I got from this lens is just amazing. I love it. So to wrap things up, is this worth getting? In my opinion, yes. I still think that I'd rather not have the just um, absurd 1.8 times crop that Canon has on this camera body, unfortunately. The good thing is, is that you're kind of locked there. And once you switch it to that 4K mode, to the 4K 24 frames all eye, I still believe that this lens is still wide enough even when at 18, quote unquote, 80, 18 millimeters, but it is actually, at, I think about 30. You're still getting a lot of range of views. So I still think it's worth it. And especially, I know a lot of filmmaking YouTubers have talked about the speed booster, like I found the hack and, you know, technically this is kind of the true hack. You know, you're not actually cropping in at all. There's no crop factor at all. You can see in the B-roll footage again that there is no cropping going on. It is just fixed at the Super 35. And a lot of cinema grade cameras do shoot at Super 35. So you're actually cropping into that three by two aspect ratio at that Super 35, which um, a lot of cinema grade cameras, like I mentioned before, and some of the Sony cameras in the Alpha series have that mode as well. So you will be cropping in, you're fixed. So not a bad deal. So this whole kit comes out to around $2,000. So that's not too bad, especially if you're looking into getting to entry level level maybe you're thinking about this as a secondary camera and you have a lot of ef lenses or just canon lenses in general and you want this as a secondary for your wedding shoots or your interview shoots or even if you're live streaming on twitch you know you could set this up and it'll still look great with tap sharp especially with this this beautiful sigma 18 to 35 1.8 art lens it is still amazing so if you guys would like to get all this gear all the links will be down in the description below but thank you guys so much for watching and showing support on all the videos i've been seeing a lot more subscribers now and i'm still on the road to 100 so i'm still a small channel if you guys like to hit that subscribe button that'd be super awesome i just love making videos and talking about cameras and just photo taking and all that so let me know in the comments below what else you would like to see from me personally you know and if you haven't seen other videos you can uh, click the link up here shameless plug again and let me know in the comments if you are still thinking about picking this up i'd love to chat with you guys about that as well so i'll see you guys in the next video peace